Hi guys, you're welcome back. Thanks for clicking. So this man's turning point into Islam happened when he found out that Kaaba was built by Prophet Abraham. Let's check it out. Assalamu alaikum. I took my Shahara in 2010. So I'm practically uh, the newest kid on the block around here. Um, and uh, it's the best decision I've ever, I ever made in my life. I was reading the Bible um, around Thanksgiving of um, 2010 <clears throat> um, over the phone with a friend and um, read a couple of uh, books of the Bible that I started asking questions and I started asking about different religions and um, after that I asked about Islam and then I started doing more search about other religions I canceled most of them out and I started uh, researching about the history of the Quran I googled it you know and then I was intrigued that the book was intact for 1400 years and one thing led to, the, to another and I kept on searching uh, but my turning point was when I found the history of the Kaaba I was raised, raised Catholic I went to Catholic school for eight years and I was never told that the Kaaba was built by Prophet Abraham alayhi salam, and uh, Prophet Ishmael alayhi salam. and when I found that uh, the Kaaba was built by them I was uh, really upset that I, I, I felt like I was lied, lied to from the Catholic Church why they kept this away from me um, before that uh, growing up in Catholic school um, never, be never, ever believed in the original sin. That's something I did just didn't didn't believe in, and um, didn't uh, question the statues. The statues, I just didn't understand that. On one hand, they teach the Ten Commandments. On the other hand, they have statues, so it just didn't make any sense. And when I found, when I read the Quran, I th I think I found um, a Quran Explorer. And I listened to the Quran in Arabic and English, and a week later, I think I took my shahada in front of my computer, and then two months, uh, month, a month later, I, I did it officially in the masjid. The hardest thing, I guess, my family. My family is just, um, I've been called every name in the book, uh, but it's okay, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm the happiest I've ever been, so it doesn't matter. Read, read. That's all. That's all they have to do. Just read, or just not even read. Listen, listen to the Quran online. I mean, it's all over the place. So, since uh, my first Ramadan was last year, um, it was empowerment. Empowerment. I, I never fasted in my life. And um, I didn't think I could do it. <laughs> I was actually real scared that I was going to fail. So I started praying, asking Allah to help me, to guide me. And it was the easiest thing I've ever done, I think, after, after the first three days, of course. But um, and, uh, what sums it up is empowerment, discipline, um, piety. I mean, it's, there's so many words that I can't even describe.
the reason they'll be hurt, they'll be sad. You know, at at long run, they'll have to accept the fact that he has gone for what will give him peace, gone for what will give him, you know, joy. And he just gave us little advice, and that was a beautiful. I just love the fact that you know the guy searched for the truth. He was ready. He went for it, and he's doing better now in Islam. Is is a devoted Muslim now. That was a beautiful one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.